Hi everyone, this is me, Jyotika Bedi, founder of Happiness is Love. We make relationships better. Do you want to be more hireable? If yes, this is the video for you. We are talking about employability skills because today the workforce is facing the greatest challenge of all, which is lack of employability skills, lack of 21st century skills. You might have the degrees and the certificates, but if you don't have these skills, it's going to be difficult for you to land on your dream job. Today's dynamic workplace is full of changes and ambiguity. It is no wonder that flexibility and adaptability are much sought after behaviors. So today we're going to talk about what exactly are flexibility and adaptability skills and how can you develop them? How does one acquire and really improve these behaviors you might be thinking? Let's understand. Flexibility means the capacity to be open, to be bent without breaking, while adaptability means the ability to change or be changed to fit changing circumstances. Flexibility and adaptability in the workplace refer to one's ability and willingness to respond and adjust to changes by balancing your core beliefs so that you can appropriately react to the situation or respond to the situation. Employees that are flexible are said to be able to adapt to stakeholders' needs and preferences, are able to take on more tasks, are more open to feedback, and thus they are more creative and more productive. So I want to share with you three dimensions of adaptability according to science and research. The ambiguity threshold. Your ambiguity threshold refers to how well you deal with ambiguity and uncertainty in your life. And in the past few years, we have seen that we've all done quite well in dealing with ambiguity in the corona times. This is what we all faced. Highly adaptable employees embrace ambiguity and change rather than being threatened by it and react negatively to it. Improve your ambiguity threshold by suspending judgments when ambiguous change is communicated to you. Avoid jumping to conclusions and think of the what ifs traps which we all are guilty of when details are not yet clearly communicated. Seek out new opportunities outside your field of expertise to get used to new and changing things outside of your comfort zone. Next, your internal dialogue. Your internal dialogue is the way you explain your annoying, negative or any adverse events happening to you. This affects your adaptability because if your self-talk is too negative or is way too positive, then it will be difficult for you to adjust to changes that go against your preferences and your beliefs. Improve your internal dialogue by making it realistic and positive. If your internal monologue is too positive or too negative, it may not be in line with reality. So make sure that you check in with yourself and see if you're doing the right work. Third, energy supply. Energy supply refers to your ability to access high levels of physical, mental and emotional energy. Your ability to have high levels of energy affects your ability to be physically, mentally, emotionally flexible and adaptable. Take care of your physical, mental and emotional health to ensure that you are able to deal with ambiguity and demanding changes in the workforce. Here are some characteristics of highly flexible and adaptable people and I'm sure you would love to learn and develop this skill for yourself. Intellectually flexible, they keep an open mind and have both the big and the small picture in mind. Receptive to change, change is the only constant. They, these people are willing to learn and respond positively to change. They are creative, they always find new ways to deal with problems and adverse situations. And lastly, highly adaptable people modify their thoughts, their feelings and their behaviors according to the need of the situation. If you're struggling with any aspect of your life, whether it's at work, at home, if you're struggling with dealing with adaptability, please reach out to us or you can contact us by putting a little comment on the box below and you can reach out to us because we care and we are here. Keep smiling, keep shining and keep inspired.